in my opinion, the Jaguars are probably the best team in this division. You have a quarterback in Trevor Lawrence that a lot of people think is transcendent and and has shown flashes of of being that next quarterback. I know there's a lot of people that are very high on Trevor Lawrence. I'm high on Trevor Lawrence. And there are some solid pieces on this Jaguars team, right? But honestly, it starts and finishes with with Trevor Lawrence. And that's kind of the 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 storyline that's kind of the the theme of the AFC South. It starts and finishes with a a player. Now, let's talk about Trevor Lawrence for a second. When we talk about the S, the, the the upper echelon of quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence has shown flashes that he belongs in that Patrick Mahomes, uh, Joe Burrow. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, just, he belongs in that conversation. In fact, let me let me let me rephrase, or let me let me back up. Pat, nobody, Patrick Mahomes is the clear cut best quarterback in the league. That's so he's in a class of his own. I'm talking about the 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 tier under him. You know, the Joe Burrows, the Lamar Jackson, Justin Herberts. Trevor Lawrence has shown that he is good enough to be in that class. He's also shown that there are times when he doesn't look poised. And he and he's had I mean, let's let's talk about the last game we saw, well, the second to last game we saw him in, the one the one of the greatest, if not the greatest comeback in NFL playoff history, that is the Jaguars against the Chargers. One of the reasons, outside of, of course, the deficit, one of the biggest reasons why I think and why it's being said that that comeback was probably one of the greatest comebacks in NFL history was because of just the night and day play of Trevor Lawrence from, from, from the first half to the second half. The first half... I think he had like four interceptions or something like that. And he looked abysmal. He looked awful. And it was starting to creep in that there was a sense that Trevor Lawrence is good. And he has flashes of greatness. However, yes, it was his first playoff game. But as we've seen with Trevor Lawrence throughout his young career... He doesn't he has those moments in the big in big games and big moments against good teams where he'll have a, a a high interception game or he would look he'll look like the inferior quarterback. Now mind you, Trevor Lawrence was projected to be like the next coming coming out of Clemson and rightfully so. He had an incredible he was one of the better college players especially in Clemson won them a national championship I think went to another one but one of the biggest reasons why I said that that was again one of the biggest and and, and greatest comebacks in NFL history because I've never seen a player just throw all throw out a, a half and come back look like a completely different player I've never seen that Except for that game. Usually when you throw four interceptions or you're down, I think it was like 27-0 or 21-3 or something like that. Usually you pack it in. Usually, I understand it's the playoffs, but hey man, it's not our night. It's not our night. It's not our day. We we live to fight another day. It's very hard to muster up the not only the, the ability, but the confidence to say, hey, we're down 27-0, we're down 24-0, we can still come back. And again, I <laughs> I have ne- I don't under I don't know what was said in the locker room. I don't know, but it Doug McDermott had them ready to play and, and they came back and beat the Chargers. 
now they ultimately lost to the Chiefs again the next game, but this Jaguars team is a is a young team, and that's actually the the theme of the AFC South. The AFC South is a very young it, it has very young teams. And I don't ex- – outside of Trevor Lawrence, there is not a quarterback in this division that I trust, at least right now. We're going to talk about Anthony Richardson. We're going to talk about C.J. Stroud. The only quarterback in this division that I trust right now. And, and honestly, I don't know if I trust Trevor Lawrence or not. Because, again, I've seen greatness from Trevor Lawrence, and I've seen him look god-awful. But when you look at this roster, you have Travis Etienne. You hope that he's able to stay healthy. You have uh, DeForest, uh, De, De Everest Johnson. He's He was really good at the running back position. You have Zay Jones. You have Kirk, uh, Christian Kirk. And, of course, we know about the drastic overpay from him. But he did produce last year. This team has pieces. But I don't expect this team to be – I don't expect – let me say this. I don't expect Trevor Lawrence to be – I expect him to be amongst – the best quarterbacks in the league. I have seen enough to, to to think that Trevor Lawrence is good enough to do that. And when we talk about the totality of the AFC or yeah AFC South, I don't think that there's another team that I think that the the Jaguars should finish number one should finish atop the AFC South because. I think it's not really I think it's kind of I know they have the best quarterback in the division. And depending on who you are, depending on what games you want to dissect and look at, depending on how you how you truly feel about comebacks, how you feel about Trevor Lawrence. Some people have him as a top five quarterback. Some people have him top ten. I'll probably have him in the top 10 range. I again, man, it's 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 I need to see consistency. I need to see consistency. I need to see the I I I need to see your ability to maintain greatness and not have games where he he kind of he he's a better in my opinion, he's a better version of Dak Prescott. And what do I mean by that? We've seen games where Dak Prescott looks like a top 10, top 5 quarterback. And a lot of people say that is the real Dak Prescott. However, we've also seen games where Dak Prescott has thrown multiple interceptions and probably been the worst player on the field for his team. And this is with a good offensive line. This is with a good defense, and that is Dak Dak Prescott. The, the Jaguar, the, they don't have the greatest offensive line. Don't get me wrong. But, again, they have pieces. On the defensive side, they have pieces. They have Trayvon Walker. He was a top draft pick a couple years ago. Um, they, they they have pieces, man. Daryl Thomas, uh, Willie Taylor the third, Leonard Taylor. They have good pieces. Evan Ingram, who hasn't really been able to find a, a a place even though he had a really good year last year for the char- or for the Jaguars. This 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 team is okay. I'll say it, this team in my opinion is okay. There there's no there's no name that jumps out at me and thinks and thinks that this team is is a title contender or this team is a uh, a uh, uh, top of the AFC contender. But what I will say is they have number 16. They have Trevor Lawrence. And because they have Trevor Lawrence, I'm automatic. I think Trevor Lawrence is the best, not only the best quarterback in this division, but arguably the best player in this division. And when you pair that alongside with, uh, like I said, a Christian Kirk with a 
Zay Jones with uh, Evan Ingram, then you start to then you you you, ha- you might have something. And again, I I to me would be shocked if this team is not good enough to uh, not good enough to win the division because of Trevor Lawrence. Now, if they don't win the division, that's because either Trevor Lawrence just was injured. Or which I, I don't wish injury upon any, anybody, or just dra- or or Trevor Lawrence may not be the guy that we think he is, or his inconsistency may be more of just who he is compared to what he could be. So I have I don't I, I, the the roster's okay. I just need this. I need. To, I, I don't. I don't because they have Trevor Lawrence. I think that they're going to be the best. It, they're going to be the best team in the AFC South, and depending on how good Trevor Lawrence is, will ultimately determine how good this Jaguars team is in comparison to the entire AFC. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast, new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.